Hi there. I'm the best criminal lawyer in all of Illinois. You see, I have never lost a case with a female client before. Sure, my fees are a little steep, and my services are pretty pricey, but I'm worth every cent. And besides, it's not just about the money, it's about the love. Presenting the silver-tongued prince of the courtroom, the one, the only, Billy Flynn! Woo! I don't care for wearing expensive things. Cashmere coats, diamond rings, don't mean a thing. All I care about is love. That's what I'm here for. I don't care for wearing silk cravettes, ruby studs, satin spats. No, no, not me. All I care about is love. He cares about his love. Show me long raven hair flowing down about to there. Oh. When I see her running free. Keep your money, that's enough for me. I don't care for driving Packard cars or smoking long fun cigars. No, no, not me. Woo! All I care about is doing the guy in who's picking on you, twisting the wrist that's turning the screw. All I care about is mom. Hi, Mr. My name's Roxy Hart. I was wondering if you would represent me. You got five thousand dollars? Five thousand dollars? That's a lot of money. Yeah. Um, Mr. Flynn, I'm not really good at this sort of thing, but maybe we can make some sort of an arrangement between us. You know, I can be an awfully good sport. Good, you got that out of your system. Now listen, you only mean one thing to me. You call me when you have $5,000. You see these women? They don't want me to represent them. Why? Because I'm the best, and I can get them off the hook. Oh, and of course, they didn't do it. Pop, six, squish, Cicero, lip shits. Pop, six, squish, uh -uh. Cicero, lip shits. He had it coming, he had it coming, he only had himself to blame. If you'd have been there, if you'd have seen it, I bet you you would have done the same. habits that get you down, like Bernie. Bernie likes to chew gum. No, not chew. Pop! So one day I come home and I'm really irritated and I'm looking for a little sympathy. And there's Bernie lying on the couch, drinking a beer and chewing. No, not chewing. Popping! So I said to him, I said, you pop that gum one more time. And he did. So I took the shotgun off the wall and fired two warning shots into his head. Now, I'm standing in the kitchen, carving up a chicken for dinner, minding my own business, when in storms my husband Wilbur, in a jealous rage. You've been screwing the milkman, he said. He was crazy. And he kept on screaming, you've been screwing the milkman. And then he ran into my knife. He ran into my knife ten times. My sister Veronica and I did this double act. And my husband Charlie used to travel around with us. Now, for the last number in our act, we did these 27 acrobatic tricks in a row. One, two, three, four, five, splits, spread eagles, backflips, 
Jack's flip flops. One right after the other. So this one night, we're down at Hotel Cicero, the three of us boozing, having a few laughs, and we ran out of ice. So I go and get some. I come back, open the door, and there's Veronica and Charlie doing number 17, the spread eagle. Well, I was in such a state of shock, I completely blacked out. I can't remember a thing. It wasn't until later. When I was washing the blood off my hands, I even knew they were dead. He had it coming. 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 All along. along. I didn't do she it. She didn't do it. But if I done but it, if she done how it, could you tell me that I was wrong? He had it coming. He had it coming. He had sell them one idea at a time. Yeah, I can still see him coming at me with that awful look in his eye. And? And we both reach for the gun. That's right. You both reach for the gun. All right, you ready? Yeah. All right. Roxy, what happened? Why did you kill him? Gentlemen, you gentlemen, my client has entered a plea of not guilty. We look forward to a trial at the earliest possible date. Now, are there any questions? Are there any witnesses? How do you, feeling, what, what, how do you do it? I can't tell you how flattered I am that y'all came to see me. Uh, yes, Mrs. Hart you is see, very... You I was a moth crushed under the wheel. A butterfly. I bet you want to know I shot the bastard. <laughs> Shut up, dummy. Mr. Billy Flynn in the press conference rag. Notice how his mouth never moves. Almost. Who's Fred Casely? My ex-boyfriend. Why you shoot him? I was leaving. Was he angry? Like a madman. Still, I said Fred, move along. She knew that she was doing wrong. Came toward me with the pistol from my Biaro. Did you fight him like a tiger? He had strength and she had nothing, and yet we both reached for the gun. Oh, Roxy, you poor dear. I can't imagine what you've been through. You must be so scared, so frightened. Now tell us, Roxy, how are you feeling? Very frightened. Are you sorry? Are you kidding? What's your statement? All I say is. Choo choo jump the track, I give my life to bring it back. And Stay away from what? Jazz and liquor. And, and the man who what? played for fun. And what? That's the thought that yeah. came upon me. What? When we both reach for the gun! Oh, my God. 